Alright guys, today's video, I'm going to show you for your ADCC bike engine kits how to properly mount this little thing. So, you are watching High Octane and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so basically your chain tensioner, actually I put that on the wrong way, excuse me. So. Your chain tensioner is basically to make sure that all that slack, which really I should shorten my chain, um, but I kind of like it how it works. So you want to make sure what this does is it makes sure that the chain coming out of the engine is going straight, and it makes sure that the chain going onto the sprocket is straight as well. So the top part you really don't have to mess with. So what you're going to do is basically you're going to take your nice little tensioner, and you're going to face it this way. So now you got to be careful what you do because if you notice here, you can have that it, the chain will catch onto the wheel and it'll screw it up. That's from previous times when my chain is broken because it's not. That was the old chain. That was the really crappy uh, crap chain. So what you're gonna do? I'm gonna have to set the camera down for just a second so I can get this adjusted. See how well I can do this. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to put it about there. Now you're going to take your bolt and you're going to push it in through this way. Then you want a washer, lock washer, something. Actually, I think I'm missing mine. Oh, there it is. Come here, you. So you're going to put your lock washer on. No, washer, excuse me. Then your lock washer. And then the nut. So you really you want these the nuts to be this the lock nuts. So they have that little plastic ring in there and they don't like to slip off. That's actually what I put on the side other side of the sprocket adapters um, bolts. So that I would hold them on and they wouldn't pop off and uh, screw up while riding. So now it's on there but it's not tight. As you can see that's way too much play. This is called play. When your chain is shaking like that, that's play. So, notice how when I push it forward, well, it takes that play out. So the best way to do this is you want to move your wheel, if you can, and then push that in. So let me go ahead and do that. We need, we need two hands for this fun stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put that out there, move the bike a little bit, right there, and then you're going to need two wrenches for this part, so you put one on the back, and one on the front is where you tighten. Okay, so don't tighten it all the way, now the reason for that being is because you want to be able to move this. So perfect example right here, if you look down there, you can see that the teeth of the sprocket are going to start catching on the edge here and eventually that would pop off. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our thumb and we're going to move it. So now it's aligned and it's not going to pop off. Now check your tension. Tension's good. Now if you tighten this all the way what's going to happen is it's going to immediately come back out and stay straight up and down where it's perfectly aligned with this. So don't tighten it all the way, just tighten it to where the threads are just, just sticking out. So that's tight enough to keep it on, but not take it off completely. So, I'll demonstrate that here. Tighten a little bit. And there we go, that's all we need. So, now, adjust the tensioner because it does tend to move. Okay, now this, the chain, when you, for tips when you put a new chain on, Ye it will stretch, so you'll have to constantly adjust that. Now what I suggest doing is getting a spring tensioner. So now, what you're going to do, my kickstand up here, I had to put another one on because my kickstand, my kickstart stand started to break. So, now you can take your clutch handle, push your button in if that works. should do that. So, now when you roll your bike, So, if you hear any pops or loud clacks, then obviously you did something wrong, and that's bad. Um, 
but if you don't and you can roll it without having anything um, anything clacking here then that's good now another thing is chain bite so I just noticed this on mine so you can see here where the chain is pretty much touching the tire that's bad so you have to readjust your tire um, now mine may not look like it needs it but obviously something happened because the chain is touching the tire so I'm gonna have to adjust that but uh, there you go that's how you can adjust your chain tensioner for your ADCC bike engine kits um, and I think the next video I'm going to be doing a ride video and uh, we'll see how that works out because I don't have a camera mount on my bike so I'll have to find one but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is Tyler from High Octane signing off <laughs>